Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank you for holding this important hearing on this critical topic. I, I support your legislation. I've been a co-sponsor for many years, and, and it's important to my district. And I want to welcome my constituent, Mr. Salatin, uh, here today. It, the 6th District of Virginia is the number one agriculture district in the Commonwealth. And uh, so, and, and I see that he has been writing nonstop since he gave his testimony and everybody else has been asking questions. So I'm going to give you a minute just to kind of respond to what was said before I, I launch into my questions. But one thing Mr. Tiffany mentioned was the proliferation of small processors in Wisconsin. Um, and I asked him why and what was the kind of uh, reason for, for that magic that happens in Wisconsin as opposed to what might happen in Virginia. But Mr. Salton, thank you for being here. Well, I mean, Wisconsin, um, you know, has a, you know, has a really small farm. You know, it's the cheese capital. It, uh, it, it has a really small farm feel about it. Um, to my knowledge, you know, uh, Purdue is not there. Tyson's not there. Um, so, you know, in Virginia, we have Smithfield, you know, uh, and so it has, just has a small farm feel. Um, I, I, think, um, I think also that as you head into Wisconsin, you get a kind of, um, um, you know, it's, 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 it's not in the center, uh, it's out there. And a lot of homesteaders are moving to Wisconsin. And um, so it's just, it's got that small, you know, that small holder feel. Well, in Virginia, we have a state level program that allows meat to be inspected and sold for intrastate commerce. However, we're one of only 27 states that have this kind of program in place. Uh, how would the Prime Act improve on our system in Virginia, if at all? Well, the Prime Act would allow um, by the cut sales. And um, I know uh, Mr. Nadler has kept harping on safety, safety, safety. But we've got to realize that the that uh, safety is actually quite subjective. Uh, I think a lot of people do things that are unsafe, like drinking three cokes a day, um, is pretty unsafe. Maybe even, well, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll not go too far here, but um, <laughs> uh, there are a lot of things that people do that are unsafe. You know, maybe bungee jumping. I mean, whatever. Okay, and, and so um, so uh, you know, 50 kids uh, drowned in backyard swimming pools last year. That's more than have ever been uh, hurt by any kind of meat problem, uh, but we're not filling in swimming pools. What I'm saying is you choose your risk. It's a personal choice of, of, what, of how you choose your risk. And so, um, so, so the beauty of, of, of the Prime Act um, creates a, a parallel competition based on voluntary consensual choice among adults to opt out of a system just like homeschooling has now created a competition and, and opt-out uh, chance and charter schools for, for people that are upset with the public school, don't trust the public school system, or Uber um, created an opt-out option for the chauffeuring business, or Airbnb created an opt-out position for the hospitality industry. We need an opt-out. The only way to, cre to, to really break up these big outfits is to create a universe that allows a competitive free market uh, uh, option, and so the Prime Act allows a competitive free market option that will then create accountability uh, within the system. You have a long history of, of helping small farmers and processors get started in the industry and navigate federal laws, uh, USDA regulatory requirements, and, and food safety uh, inspector relationships. But starting at the beginning, what are the biggest problems faced by processors in just getting a grant of inspection that enables the facility to even operate? The biggest problems were getting around inspection? No, getting a grant of inspection. Oh, getting a grant of inspection. Oh, uh, well, um, it's basically a $2 million process. You've got a million dollars to build a facility and a million dollars to get the paperwork done. And, and once a facility is operating, what difficulties do processors face in complying with all of the federal laws and regulations? Well, I think, I think you've heard a lot of it right I've here. heard a lot. Uh, we, we could, I mean, when we were talking here before the meeting, uh, Greg, uh, Mr. Gunthorpe, sorry to be formal here, um, uh, mentioned that if we started down the path of each of us telling stories, we could be here well into the night. 
and, 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 and the problem is that these stories don't have easy resolutions uh, because of the, the non-appellant non situation within the, in, within the industry. Uh, so that's why, that's why trying to say, be nice, agency, you know, um, FSIS, could you be nicer? Could you be kinder? That doesn't work. What we, the reform needs to come from, from, a, from a, an option that allows people to take control of their own um, microbiome. Thank you for being part of a discussion that's long overdue. I yield back.